Hi, my name is Vedran Kesegic. I'm a Microsoft Certified Master for SQL Server and I'm going to show you now how do I format my DSQL code. So the first thing I want to show you is brackets aligning. It might be uh, any block code uh, inside of brackets, begin, end or any other block code. So if you have a open bracket and it the code fits on the same line you can close it on the same line but if code is very long and it doesn't fit you can close it right below on the vertical line do not close it please here because uh, for example you can close it on the vertical line or the horizontal line do not close it like this it's really it's really is ugly uh, the point is you can't find the closing brackets easily if you close it like this you close it either vertically or horizontally aligned with the open bracket and that's it the next thing i want to show you are two-part names and aliases so for example if you have a command like select something from table that looks good but it isn't um, the one should use two part names like this dbo dot that's schema name because only two part name is unique within the database this is unique this isn't unique that's bad and you should always use alias alias that reminds you on the actual table so i put here t not a b c but t because it reminds me on the this letter t on the table so i use here t dot some some column please use two part names and aliases like this the next thing i want to show you are the keywords like select from where uh, group by uh, having order by etc so if they if the command fits on the same line you can write them on the same line but if it doesn't fit please align those keywords vertically like this so it should be sorry it should be vertically aligned and if you have a block of code within that doesn't fit on the same line you should indent it indent it by a single tab and then you write your code tab you write your code indented the same is for, for the where where and the from for example i write from from some table t join join some other table p on etc this join is indented for a single tab that simple if your bracket is open very far to the right please move it to the next line like this for example you have a you have a sorry a ver some long column in and you have bracket here and you put your code like this this that this is very far to the right so please don't do it like that i will delete it this bracket should be in the next line like this indented for a single tab you open it here you write the code and you close it here vertically align by a single tab from the parent that's it now is the time for one example on the real code this one is for from uh, msdn from adventureworks database i copied it here so let's format it format it by these rules first i see they do not use aliases for example there are two part names here but no aliases but first we will go with the brackets so this brackets is opened here 
and who knows where it is closed. Let me try like this. Then it should be closed. Hmm. Where product in? It it is really really nice example. So I I need to have all my brackets closed, vertically aligned with opened with open bracket. Foo, that's here. Join with this table on this keyword. This is a keyword should be aligned with other keywords here, and this is okay. But um, this is al alias, so I will put it here. P. Then order detail. D detail. And then order header, header, age. Hmm, this this is okay. Here it is. That's that's the format I would use. Thank you very much for your attention. If you liked the video, please press the like button below. If you have any questions, you can write to my email address. P please don't hesitate to contact me. You really are welcomed. To do so. If you have any problems with your SQL Server, you have the address. You can you can write to me. So for additional info, you can go to blog.sqlxdetails.com. Thank you very much. Bye.